I'm Ron Newman. I'm the CEO of Virtue Design Institute. Hi, Rahul Nath, the Program Lead for Interior Design. In this video, we want to show you what a Virtue Studio looks like and, and how the learning management system works. And this is what our studio looks like, as you can see up here on the screen. So when you arrive in the studio, uh, the studio page will land you on the news and uh, that will keep you up to date with all the things that are happening in your class at the time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to disappear to the bottom corner and um, we're going to take you menu by menu through and you will see how it works. Okay, let's get right into it. Here we are in the Virtue Design Institute studio. You can see when you first enter the studio, you'll end up on the news page. That's because there might be some important announcement here related to your subject. If you want to navigate around in the studio, the menus are on the left hand side. You can see here we are on the news page right now. If I was to click here on subject information, that'll take us to the subject information for this subject. You can see we are in the subject of interior design drawing techniques. Now, if we want to take a look at what's involved in this subject, we'll go to subject information and then click on subject outline. This will download a PDF document that will be the subject outline for this subject. Okay, here it is. Let me take you through this subject outline document. You can see first it starts with a subject description and then goes on to the learning outcomes and skills and knowledge. Continuing to scroll down, we'll get to the week by week program. This is a guide that will show you what's going to happen in the classroom as you progress through the course. You can see the lecture will be listed here, the online support material, and also your assessments will be in the last column. If you want a more detailed guide to each assessment, you'll have to go to the assessment task menu in the studio. Continuing to scroll down, we'll see that virtue subjects tend to go for 11 weeks knowledge. Okay, that's the subject document. Right down the bottom, we also have a list, list of resources and extended reading that you can look into if you're really interested in this subject area. Let's close down this document and go back to the studio. Okay, so I did mention that if you wanted more detail on the assessment tasks, you'll have to go to the assessment tasks menu. So let's go over there now, assessment tasks. All right, here we go. Each virtue subject has three assessment tasks as I mentioned. Let's check out assessment task one. Clicking on that, we'll get a text breakdown and description of the task but actually I would prefer to look at the task in a PDF document. So what I'm going to do is either click here or here, both is the same, and we'll download the PDF version of this assessment task document. Okay, similar system as before, we download it and here it is. Okay, so we've got a description of our task, we've got when it's due, and we've got the weight of our task. And we've also got the training units that might be covered in the assessment. So there's a quick introduction into how you can go about finding out what your assessment tasks are and the detail involved in those tasks. Back in the studio, let's check out some other things we have. We've got the forum, and this is a place where you'll be interacting with your teacher and with your peers. The forum runs like any other forum online. You go in, view a thread, and you can participate by adding a comment. So you can see here, here is the first post, which is the lecturer, that's myself, introducing himself to the class. All right, let's take a look at the galleries function of our studio. This is just like a real life design studio. When you have work, you want to pin it up on the wall and show it to the rest of the class for a view. Galleries work just like that. You pin up your work and you can show it to the rest of the class. Here is an example of some of my work that I've pinned up in the gallery walls. On a project to take a look. This is actually a project I did recently um, for a pop-up shop for Dosh Wallets. It's an interior design, um, retail design project. And you can see here, we can view the file, we could download the original file, and we can check out the details here. So this is a really good way to share and communicate your work to others in your classroom. Your lecturer will assign you into teams. Within these teams, you can discuss, share, and collaborate on work together. We also have a resources section, and this is where your lecturer will post up additional resources for you to look at and aid you in your study at Virtue. The profile is a really important part of a classroom. Having good information here is really important. 
It will help you communicate with others and will help others understand your perspectives on design and education. So thank you Rahul for that. And thank you for visiting the Virtue Design Institute and for visiting our studio tour. If you've got any further questions about our learning management system or about our studio or about our learning methodology, then contact the Provost or the Registrar whose email you will find on our Contact Us page and we'll respond to you as quickly as possible and hopefully be able to help you understand how we do things at Virtue Design Institute. Thank you for visiting us and goodbye.